Well, hello everybody, Pastor Randy here. Welcome to Making It Simple. Coming to you a little bit late today. Had some obligations I had to deal with earlier, but I wanted to, wanted to come back and uh, pick up where we left off yesterday. John gave these six words. He must increase, speaking of Christ, I must decrease. I want us to take a few moments as we examine, and we're going to break these down, to examine these six words. And I want us to to hear the statement that is being made. He must increase, I must decrease. I want us to see, this is self-examination time, and I'm talking to me as much as I am to any of you. We need to examine our life. We need to see if our purpose, because the, 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 the lesson of these next several lessons is finding our purpose. What, what is it? What does it mean? What does it look like? He must increase. I must decrease. Is our, is our purpose, is what we're pursuing, does it, does it make that statement? that the Lord must increase and I must decrease. Is, is that our purpose? And if it's not, if that's, if that's not the road that we're traveling, if that's not where we're going, how do we get there? How do we get there? I want us to look and realize that this statement, the first part of it is a statement of worship. Now, one may say, well, how is that, Pastor? I, I don't understand. I associate worship with songs and singing and musical the word worship means adoration the word worship means homage or tribute the word worship means excessive or ardent admiration intense admiration or love for he must increase in other words i need more of jesus I want you to think about that for a minute. I need more of Jesus. Bill Gaither, wonderful songwriter, he and his wife, and their, really their whole team is, is, is incredible. And he wrote these words many years ago, and they simply say, more of you, more of you. I've had it all, but what I need Here's more of you, of things I've had my fill, but yet I hunger still, empty and bare. Lord, hear my prayer for more of you. He must increase. Those three words, friends, they, they call for they call for full surrender. These three, three words declare boldly, boldly. In fact, they, they, they declare loudly, like we think of worship. They declare who he is and who he must be. And that's number one. Number one in our life, he must increase but does our life display that do, do others see that when they see us now i'm not talking about only speaking uh, scripture when you have a conversation i'm not talking about swatting people with the bible and i'm not talking about any type of preaching at anybody the character and demeanor and personality and everything of christ is found in the fruit of the spirit as Paul would write, love and joy and kindness and forgiveness and patience and you know all these different things, friends, those are visible characteristics that everybody can see. Those are the characteristics of God. Do people see that in us? He must increase if indeed they are not there. He must increase and I must decrease because it is very clear whether those things are present. It is very, very clear because they indeed are visible and not just to our circle. 
not just to our friends or family or our church, church friends and family, but in fact to everyone who crosses our path. It is clear whether Jesus is number one. It is clear whether his presence is increasing as time goes by or whether I am. It really, there's no gray area there. I mean, and, and as, as John is recognizing, again, we touched on this yesterday, those that were working with him, they were kind of getting a little bit of a jealous spirit because Jesus now, his ministry is in full go and, and people are coming and people are following and people are, are, you know, lives are being changed and impacted and people are being healed. And the guys with him were saying, what's going on? And John realizes, now it's his time. It's not mine anymore. Mine was to usher in this presence. Mine was to usher in this time, and now it's here. And so he must increase. I must decrease. N none of us, regardless of where we are in this life or what we do, none of us can argue and none of us can deny the fact that life can get really, really busy. It does all the time. I I've been busier in the last 36 hours than I've been you know, in the last month. It it's just, it happens. Life gets busy. And as the years go by, as our responsibilities increase, as our positions in life change, whatever, all these different things, it gets busier. And in the process of that, we have decisions to make. We have, uh, in fact, some of those decisions not only are just called for, they, some, in some cases, they're demanded. You just have to. You have to make it. But when we begin to see our purpose, not, not just to accomplish this, that, or whatever, but when we begin to see our purpose through these first three words, he must increase. There's just too much of me. That's not, that's not putting ourselves down. That's not considering that we're not important. That's not what that's about. We need more of him to be a better us. We need more of him to have clearer direction, sharper wisdom, and on so on and on so on. I need him to increase and me to decrease. In other words, I need to submit so that I can hear, so that I can watch, so that I can be a part of what he's called me to do. He must increase. We have to understand this statement. This statement says Jesus deserves our worship above everything. Why? Because he put us above everything, above his own life. We came first. I gave my life for you. I, the sheep, shepherd will die for his sheep. He deserves first place. He does. Again, an old song. Without him, I would be nothing. John, in these six words, is declaring that his purpose in life was to exalt, was to praise, was to lift up the name of Jesus. Is our life showing that? Does our purpose statement show that? Or is there a lot more of us than there is of him? Because that statement should be clear individually and corporately in the church because it, it, clearly within the church we, we see okay well that okay that's clear that's the church statement that's the way that's what church is for that's why it's there I lift up the name of Jesus exalt all the well certainly the the concept of church in corporate worship if you will that that gives that idea that's that's the idea that's given however oftentimes actions say, the opposite. We, we want what we do to make a statement of worship. However, at the same time, it has to make a statement of humility. What does that require? He must increase. I must decrease because he must be Number one, we're going to pick back up more on that tomorrow.
with the last three words, I must decrease. And again, understanding why is that important when we begin to look at how the first three words are so impactful when it comes to our concept of worship and why he deserves it. God bless you, friends. I hope this is a blessing to you. I look forward to being with you tomorrow for some more Making It Simple and Looking for Our Purpose. Thank you.